Right, this is Melissa from Unbusy, taking the overwhelm out of introverted mom life. This is episode 160, and today we're talking about what not to do when you're craving some time alone. How many hours of alone time do you currently get during a typical day? No, hours was not a typo. Is your current alone time stat less than one hour? Want to know how to get more of that precious stuff? Then keep listening for your top don'ts on how to get time for yourself every single day, plus a five-day challenge to walk you through the micro steps between nap time and chore time, and hours to myself every day. Time for you too, coming right up. Are you exhausted from spending nap time cleaning up the house? Get instant access to your five-day challenge to teach you the basics of getting time to yourself every single day. And five days from now, you'll be relaxing at nap time without a care in the world. What's not to love for an introverted mom? I put the link for you in the description below. So first, don't magically expect the time to appear. Your to-do list is used to taking over every sliver of your life. It's not going to just give up space to your hobbies all of a sudden. No, that's something you are going to have to fight for. Your own recharge time often gets lost between the laundry, the dishes, the butt wiping, and getting something on the table for supper. So if you're lost in the nap time catch-up system, give yourself a jolt with this five-day challenge designed to get you from two hours to catch up on everything to two hours to flop on the couch. Because we both know it takes a while to get ourselves out of a routine that's been semi-working, even if we don't like it anymore. However, I will say this, don't carve up your me time into 20 minutes here or 15 minutes there increments and then expect you should be recharged and re-energized after an hour total of piecemeal leisure, quote unquote. That's not how our brains work. You need a solid recharge block to reset, rejuvenate, and refresh. Sir, those 15 minutes on your phone gave you a break from scrubbing toilets. I'm not knocking that, but a task break is different than a whole day break. What you need is a concentrated block of time all to yourself, and I know just how to get that for you. Take the how to get time for you too every day challenge and finally banish the I never have enough time to garden woes or whatever your hobby is. Now, lastly, I wouldn't recommend taking the minimum me time possible once you do get them down for naps or off racing around the backyard. You need to get in the habit of treating yourself as worthy, valuable, and interesting in your own right, which means worth getting two to three hours of blocked out hobby time every day. Yes, I said it. You deserve a good solid portion of the day to yourself. Think about it. When were you planning on taking that break? After supper? After dishes? After baths? Or was it just never going to happen again while you clean up the house, say hi to your husband, and then fall into bed all over again? You see, that's the routine we need to break. Life is not just about going through the motions, keeping the kids fed, and totally neglecting yourself. But to change that, we've got to radically shift your mental priorities from keeping them alive to include keeping myself charged up. Got it? It's time to do something radical with your nap time. It's time to retake your free time, to rediscover who you used to be and start feeding her. You'll like your life so much more, I promise. Take the nap time challenge and start your daily relaxing habit this afternoon. Time for you two, coming right up. Are you exhausted from spending nap time cleaning up the house? Get instant access to a five-day challenge that teaches you the basics of getting time to yourself every single day. And five days from now, you'll be relaxing at nap time without a care in the world. What's not to love for an introverted mom? I put the link for you in the description below. Have a wonderful day.